What's up, people? It's time to get back on that seven star Nightcrawler grind. Talking about that multi event quest. Although, I think I should hit a little bit of arena. Get the arena wins, revive. I might as well. It's kind of important to stack some revives. That way, I'm not falling too far behind on the Winter of Woe stuff. Because, oh, it's a little bit less time than I realized. I don't know why I thought this still had like 20 days left on it instead of 13. But, uh, okay. We still got time. We got time. We got time. So, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe I do hit that revive up real quick. That way I can try to preserve my units uh, while clearing that Winter of Woe. Um, seems like a good idea. Speaking of revives, though, I should also... Get up this daily. I mean, oh, here's the thing about the apothecary. No, I'll do it. Screw it. I was going to say, like, man, I... Is it really worth it when I'm going to have to pop energy refills and I actually have to buy the energy refills? But the nice thing about it is it is just the auto-fight nature of this quest. It kind of allows me to get the, the stream up and running and all that. Uh, so, might as well grab it. Anyway... What's up, people? Uh, we've got a little bit of that slap action to take care of real quick here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Looks like the slap is going to go to... <laughs> slap! It's going to J-Dad of 2. J-Dad of 2, thank you very much. F with a buck. Much appreciated. Is there a message to go along with that, or is that just purely for the slap? It's looking like it's just purely for the slap right now. Thank you, dude. Casey first winner, followed by Blizzard, the Black Man, Plumbers Crack, Stop Complaining, Scar Accelerate, Obi Don Oxygen. What's up? What's up? What's up? Got Sanskrit in here, Juan Valdez, Deej. What's up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Uh. <laughs> just slap okay well dude thank you uh thank you very much once again uh yo what's up bg what's up symbiote bat can't wait to finish clearing up labyrinth labyrinth huh some good old lives surprise surprise rank five is sent the six star agon cleans it up nice <laughs> i bet yeah i bet a rank five ascended six star agon would not be the most difficult champ to run through there with. But that sounds like a pretty good time. Honestly, it's still a pain to get him ramped up. But at least in Labyrinth, you're good after the 300th hit. Your damage is already... Whew, already feeling good at that point. So yeah, I imagine it goes pretty quick. Most of those fights probably go down after like 100 hits or something like that. Um, okay... Anywho, anywho, not feeling too well, Deej. Oh no, not feeling well. That's a bummer. I hope you feel better tomorrow after a good night's rest. Gee, since you like bananas so much, you surely like palm trees, right? Do bananas grow on palm trees? I thought they just grew on like racks at the grocery store. I can't say I've ever seen a banana in the wild. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, should I take my six star clairvoyant to rank five or my six star CGR to rank five? Both awakened. Uh, Z1, it really depends mostly on what your goals are and what the rest of your roster looks like. I'm not even going to make, well, I'll make a poll in this case. I'll make a poll, but I have a feeling it's going to be somewhat one sided. And, uh, let's, let's see here though. Uh, who to rank? We've got Claire CGR. This is for you said this is for rank five. Yeah, 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 yeah. rank five. Okay. All right. It's gonna be somewhat low votes because stream's still warming up here. Yeah, pretty one-sided as expected. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop it now because, oh, Claire, stop! She's already dead. 
Yeah, uh, CGR got 90% of the votes compared to Claire's 10%. Not surprising at all in the slightest. Um, but I still say it depends. Uh, I, I think CGR is the obvious pick for a lot of people, um, which I was going to say before the poll. But it does still depend. If you already have... Like... I guess here's the thing about Claire. She's the type of champ that offers a lot of utility. Not a lot of damage. A lot of utility. And uh, very sustainable as well. And uh, just a kind of a great workhorse champ to get you through quests. Without having to use a lot of consumables. That said, CGR blasts through some fights so fast that he can save resources too, just on account of like how fast he gets through fights, and um, that that leaves less room for error, you know, on your part. So, who needs to heal if if you're not actually getting hit by anyone's abilities, you know? Um, when it comes to rank five, it probably is just CGR. Like that's I'm gonna I'm gonna say CGR in this case. Uh, but the reason I'm talking about it so much is because if someone was like, I don't know, let, let's say they're a bit newer to, uh, to the game here. Um, not even brand new, but let's say it's like, you got a six star at rank, like rank two. Who are you taking to rank two? I think it's a lot closer then. Um, because that person probably doesn't have as established of a roster, might not have kind of the standard immunities that you'd want, the rotating immunities that you want from Claire, and uh, just the nullify that you get access to with Claire as well, uh, just on regular old hits. I think it's very power. I think she's very powerful, so. Um, yeah, but at rank five, CGR. Oh, Clarissa, what? What is with these sleepy time emojis? Are you saying that because you don't care about Claire and you just want to go CGR too? And you don't want to hear me talk about it? BG, who gets the 2-3 to three mutant? I personally love the, uh, both these champs. And I don't need to do any story content, but it's between Storm X and Sunspot. I would say Sunspot, personally. Uh, I think Sunspot is much better. I just got back into the game. Have I missed anything to be able to gain 7-star Nightcrawler? Uh, sort of. It's a three-month process to getting 7-star uh, Nightcrawler, starting with the last month, not this month. So, yeah, you may have already missed some, some things that you would have uh, needed to do. It's still available if you don't mind spending a bit, but if you're taking a, uh, you know, like a free-to-play approach, then... Uh, you would not be able to. I still think it's worth, like, trying to collect as as much of Nightcrawler's... Po well, is it worth it? I don't know. Because you get you get these. These tokens right here. Uh, these X magicka Rune Stones. And... I don't know. What Originally, what I was going to say is, like, they might bring these resources back after this saga is over. If you don't know what sagas are, it, it, they it, Kabam is kind of uh, grouping up months, like three months at a time, into, like, one, one saga, kind of tying the story together and tying some of the events together. And I just realized my head's covering this. Um, so, yeah, you need, to, you need to get all of these for each of the three months throughout the entire saga to get Nightcrawler. And because these ones are specific to this saga, I don't know if in the future there'll be kind of ways to get those. But there might be. Uh, I don't know. This is all a brand new system. I don't know if Kabam has commented on it during, like, live streams or, or forum posts or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it might, be st it might still be worth... Since this is the first one and we don't know what's going to happen. Um, might be worth. Uh, Alright, I think I'm going to hit the arena a bit before hopping into the monthly event quest. Just because, like I said at the start of the stream, 
Arena wins is on, and I, I desperately need the revives, you guys. Really need them revives. So let's just hop into the Prowler Arena. Already got some seven stars loaded in. That's perfect. Alan, thank you very much for the book. Uh, saying, hey, Baldy, who should I use for the three-star Stark Spidey grind? Oh, my God. I'll tell you who you should use. You should use... <clears throat> you know what? I was going to go rude on it and tell you to go yourself and tell you what you could use to do that. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, it's family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> Just keep it family friendly. <clears throat> Why don't you use your uh, three-star Venom? He counters Stark Spidey quite nicely. Uh, Alan, thank you very much for the book. Anyone watching Shogun? Shogun? Is that an anime? Ooh. Ooh. Got caught by that pretty good. Uh, can't say that I am. Whatever Shogun is, I am not. Speaking of, uh, like... Oh, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if this is a video game show or not, but I was going to say, speaking of video game shows, I heard the new Fallout show is pretty good. Seems like a lot of people are watching that, but I've never played Fallout, so I don't know if anyone in here, uh, I don't know if anyone in here are fans of that game or what, but I've never played any of the Fallouts. Not a single one. I don't even think I heard of Fallout until, like, Fallout three or something like that did you, do you play mcoc off stream or not uh at the moment not really i play almost exclusively on stream sometimes a little off stream uh in the past i used to play a lot off stream yeah nope not anime oh okay Um, I wish I had more time to play off stream sometimes, honestly, because like there was a period of time where, um, like, I don't know. I, the thing about MCOC for me, and I would imagine for most people, the interest level is not like a complete static line. You know, sometimes the interest is up. Sometimes the interest is down as you're like waiting for new things to come to the game. Uh, or you just have other things going on in life that are, you know, holding that interest uh, to a higher degree. And um, for a period of time, my interest levels, they were down quite a bit. Uh, which I didn't try to hide at all. Made a few videos talking about and all that. Um, but I still really enjoy streaming and just getting the chat with everybody. Even if my interest levels weren't super high, like playing the game on stream, always fun. Uh, queuing up some battleground matches on stream, always a good time. Um, so my interest didn't really go down in that regard. But then recently, I feel like MCOC has been it's been on a, a a big upswing as far as I'm concerned, at least. Maybe that's just my own personal interest levels on the rise. But, uh, yeah, it, it feels like overall MCOC is headed in the right direction. And very often now I'm like, ah, dang, wish I had a bit more time. Wish I can grind out some of these resources a little bit better. Um, I almost joined, I almost rejoined for Loki, uh, just for like one season. They needed a fill in. Someone was going on vacation and I thought about it. I'm like, uh, I'm still not really into Alliance Wars, but I mean, just a season, play with the boys again, you know. Um, but I, yeah, sometimes just don't have the time for it. And right now, time is quite limited. Anyway. I'm not convinced MCOC is a mobile game anymore. Bob, you know what? When I first started playing this game, I had like, dude, I, it was, there were games and then there were mobile games. And MCOC for a period of time convinced me that like 
mobile games are games too. <laughs> you know, like they 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 didn't fall in that separate category. Like MCOC didn't fall in the separate category of like a mobile game. You know, because it was it, it was that good. And still, I mean, still is. But then, like I was saying, there was that whole period where I was like, it it felt like it was becoming a mobile game. Um, I don't know if it was. I, so I, I never actually met there was there was like a new creative director was a creative director no 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 not creative director i mean there is a new one now because that was gabe of frazera um dang what's the title game director maybe uh i there was a there was a new game director for a period of time who is no longer with kabam and I could be totally wrong by, like, placing the blame on this person. But it, it, it feels like it lines up with, like, when they were, you know, at Kabam. Uh, that's when things felt like they were just going in, like, a more mobile direction, man. Could have been purely a coincidence. Could have just been that, you know, there was a lot being worked on behind the scenes that hadn't hit the game yet because Battlegrounds weren't out yet, you know. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to, uh, I don't even want to say that other person's name, because I never met them, I never got a chance to speak with them, see what they were all about, out of all the, the, the people at Kabam that, uh, I've met over years, that one happened, like, during the pandemic, when there was no, uh, kind of face-to-face -face interactions going on, um, all right, Z1 Zodix, thank you very much for the twos. And yeah, my current rank fives are Herc, Abs, Man, Titania. Okay. Um. And you say meant to say just complete Act Eight in general. Okay. Yeah, I I, I would say CGR. Go with CGR. I think Clara will be all right for you at rank four. CGR would too, to be fair, but like. Might as well get the extra firepower on CGR, I think, is the way to go. I would do that. Like I said, Claire would only make sense for uh, a, a smaller portion to favor over CGR in terms of rank-up resources these days. Yo, is that dark? Uh, Dark's Dank Dungeon in here. That mega banana. Saying, long time, no catch a stream, ball genius. Got a new job. Oh, dude, congrats. I hope it's uh, an awesome one that you really like. Uh, about a month and a half ago, and I work during your streams now. Sad face. Hope all is well in bald land. Dark. Dude, right back at you, man. Uh, new job. That is exciting. Yeah, thank you. Uh, man, thank you for that continued support, though. Always doing so much for the community, dude. Me, lags, everybody. Thank you, dude. Um, but yeah, I hope your new job is awesome. New jobs are both super exciting and terrifying all at the same time. At least until you get used to it. And then the terror fades. And then sometimes the excitement fades, too. <laughs> It's funny how those two things are like opposites but somehow linked together. Um Okay, anyway, yeah, dark, thank you again. Uh Oxygen with them two CHF saying, would you mind moving your beautiful eye to Twitter? Oh. I'll tell you what. I'll move both of them just for you. Don't Oh. I was like, what the heck's going on? I forgot. Dude, Hawkeye's got that that release mechanic. I'm gonna have to practice with that a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got here on the Twitterverse? Oxygen. ABG, I'm new to tier one. Hey, speaking of Alliance War. New to tier one, who would you pick to fight this rank three Korg? I, I, dude, I got news for you. I'm out of the Alliance War game. I can try to come up with an option, but if you're in tier one, do you not have like a, an Alliance battle group officer that uh, kind of does assignments? Maybe, maybe not everyone, maybe not every tier one Alliance does that, but uh, I feel like most of them do uh, just to coordinate and make sure there's no issues. 
But anyway, uh, who'd you pick to, to fight this rank three Korg? I was thinking about Havoc. Not sure if contact attacks would bypass the damage reflect. Uh, would greatly appreciate your thoughts. So let's see. Whenever the defender purifies or cleanses a debuff, they gain a damage reflection passive for eight seconds, dealing back 50% of the damage dealt by the attacker. Uh, I don't know if Havoc... I don't know that I would go with Havoc. I don't know if the, the non-contact stuff... Wait, hold on a sec. Yes, I know, but I like your opinion. Okay. Well, let's take a little look-see here. Uh, whoops. Okay, yeah, so the... I forgot. His... So, most of his attacks... Um... I mean, they are contact. Okay. But I don't even know if that would matter. Uh... Yeah, I feel like the timing with Havoc, his his stuff would get would get cleansed um, by the rock stacks. Uh, when the attacker activates a special attack, the defender is inflicted with a heal block and an armor break debuff, reducing armor rating by 40%, each lasting 15 seconds. I don't think that I would like to use Havoc here. Namor Apoc, that's your thinking, Martin T.? Uh, I mean, good old uh, Omega Red, I feel like, would, would handle this. <laughs> I feel like that's who I'd end up using is Omega Red. You'd have to put recoils on, and uh, I don't know if that fits with the rest of the path, but he could do it. Uh... Who, who else, man? Who else do I normally fight Korgs with? I mean, you could technically do this fight with anyone that doesn't apply debuffs, right? Like, I, I could fight this guy with, like, Kingpin or something. I don't really remember bringing Kingpin to, uh, to war that much. It was, like, the one spot I didn't really use him. Ghost would cook this. Yeah, Ghost could do it too. You just like just don't just don't apply debuffs really. And then the second part here, like that's for the first part. The second part, um, when the attacker activates a special attack, the defender is inflicted with a heal block and an armor break. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about this that much. Like the armor break and the heal block, it would mess with the ghost a bit, but. Kitty could do the trick. Yeah, I, I think so many champs could. Oh, the new tactic, Korg can't purify. Just use any tactic attacker. Oh, is that one of the tactics? Because that's the part I, I don't know, is like the tactics. Because without the tactics, this fight doesn't look difficult at all. Um, Fight looks super easy. All right, Baldy Matter, just want to say, all right, Alan, have a good one. Um, well, if he can't purify, then... Yeah, what Victor said, just use any tactic attacker. That fight does not look difficult, though. I think you can do it with most any champ. Let's continue. But uh, Juan, for your comment here, Dan BG sounds like you need to join for Loki. If I joined for Loki, here's what would happen. I would try to get back into Karate Mike's battle group. Uh, we were battle group mates for quite a while. If I couldn't do that, if, the, if that's not where the spot was, then uh, fine. I wouldn't want to remove... I, would, I wouldn't want to mess up anyone else's uh, battle groups. Uh... But either way, whatever battle group I ended up in, someone would just give me a champ to, to go fight with, and I'd say, okay. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, that'd be it. 
have my dream job now and I love it. Oh, dark. Hell yeah. Uh, trying to climb the ladder to management and make a career out of it. Okay. Dude, that's awesome. Got the dream job. Let's see that fire breath. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for it. I love his animations. <sighs> Deathless King Groot. Speaking of dream things, that is my dream champion right there. Freaking Deathless King Groot. You guys ever think they'll add Deathless Rocket? It's kind of like my, my rabies rocket request, you know? Maybe one day. I can only hope. Like, after the Deathless thing, do you guys think they they do something else? You think they uh, continue adding Deathless champs in, like, future events? Because there's... I feel like it, it is pretty... Pretty well regarded by the community, the addition of this whole Deathless event thing. Surely there's there's some people out there that don't like it. No doubt about that. And it's fine if you don't like it. But from a lot of people that I talk to, they seem to be pretty on board with the whole uh, hunting down these champs kind of deal. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess we have talked about it a little bit in the past of, like, what other names they would use. Someone said Celestial last time or something like that. Anyway, Doofus Puncher, thank you for the two, saying raids are dumb. End of thought. <laughs> uh, I hope not. This guy doesn't like it. Torrance, you don't like it? I'd be curious to hear a little bit more as to what makes you don't like it is it uh is there, is there like just too many events to keep up with or do you not like the the kind of remodeling of of characters deathless hyperion deathless cgr or deathless magic would be sick <sighs> dude what if they never brought back magic but they did give us deathless magic that would look so cool. Um, Doofus Puncher, thank you again for the two. I'm gonna go show you guys my raid progress because I didn't, I haven't played any raids on stream. So I will show you guys uh, how that's looking. Oh, Clarissa, what are you sighing at? Deathless Pikachu? Okay, I'd like Deathless Pikachu. I wouldn't mind it. Wish they incorporated the Infinity Stones more. Hmm. Bam. Uh, I need to take a break, Saga. Uh, Deathless. Winter of Woe. Too much content. There's a lot of content. Okay, so. Raids. So, I was going to join raids. <laughs> if that doesn't say enough, then I don't know what I was going to join raids. But... So, like, originally I was assigned to Battle Group 3, which it had 9 out of 10 members uh, when I looked at it just yesterday night, I think, or something. Um, I was saying earlier, I don't really have that much time to play off stream these days, but I did try to join raids off stream. <laughs> and it had 9 out of 10 members. All lanes were, were selected. We were good there. Um, it, it was 10 out of 10 for Battle Group 1. And yeah, that's already done. Uh, Battle group two here, it was nine out of ten, and all lanes were, you know, that uh, people had already went down. What's left? Okay, so it's this maestro over here. Um, raids are crazy, man. They nerfed them so hard. I wonder if Kabam is like kicking themselves for how bad they they nerfed it, or if they like raids as is. I'm not asking for them to be, you know, buffed and made more difficult or anything like that. Um, I think it's fine as is, as someone who doesn't really want to actively uh, spend much time in modes like this. I think it's great that you can just hop in and, you know, clear stuff. I mean, I, I, in most raids, I've done more than, I've, than I did uh, in this one. I've actually participated in it before and everything. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It, like, 
they initially came out and it felt like they were in pretty bad shape. And uh, it felt like they really kind of went the other direction with it and made it so that most active alliances finish it in like the first day or two. Um, all right, I need a little bit more arena going on here. Uh, need to do that. Don't want champs remodeled, just make the old ones better. Okay, Torrance. Okay, okay. But you're... I'm okay with that too, by the way, I should say. Would... Let's say... And, and I mean, everyone could chime in, but I'm mostly just uh, asking Torrance's opinion, but feel free to chime in. If they did this, if they did like the exact same system to like piece out the different uh, champions, but instead of giving a new champ, it, it did like buff the old ones. Would you, would you like that? So uh, King Groot, I mean, King Groot was already like pretty powerful. Let, let's say Guillotine though. Guillotine, eh, not that strong. She got a buff. Some people liked it. Most people don't. If they, uh, if they, if you still had to collect all those pieces and then you got a buffed guillotine, is that something that you'd, uh, enjoy? Yo, is that white mommy? Hello, BG. Hope you're having a good time. Tagged you on two new posts on X if possible. Okay. Let's see here. White mommy busy as usual. Why, mommy? I don't know if this is your best or worst work. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> it's so OP. No one uses me. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Incredible. <laughs> oh man. Beautiful. Uh, let me see the next one here. Oh, do I even exist in the game files? Oh man, not like this, you don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, Green Goblin. Green Goblin. You know, Green Goblin was like the first surfboard character, right? I think they messed up with Green Goblin. I think they if they buffed Green Goblin... And gave him, like, a full-on animation tweak, too. I would love that. Because Green Goblin is a character that even I knew before playing this game. Yes, I would. FYI, Deathless King grew to rank, too. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just curious. But, yeah. Green Goblin was a character that even I knew before playing this game. I knew him even before there was a, you know, a Spider-Man movie with him in it. Um, I can't remember exactly the first place that I heard of Green Goblin. I had some, like, Marvel cards growing up, so maybe, maybe it was from those. I'm not sure, but I always thought Green, uh, I was about to say, uh, Globlin. Uh, Green, uh, Goblin. Um, I always thought was, like, a, a pretty cool character. Felt pretty unique. I enjoyed the Halloween kind of vibes without it feeling like too much of like an overkill cheesy Halloween kind of kind of thing, you know? And uh Yeah, it'd be it'd be sweet if they like gave him a total rework. Green gob and cosmic gob uh, need buffs bad. Yeah I haven't spent that much time with the uh, with Red Goblin, so I can't talk too much on that. But you're probably right. MSD likes him, but uh, even MSD, I'm sure, rarely uses him, especially these days. Arena without recoils, ew. Ah, oh, true, dude. It's it's free to swap, isn't it? So what am I doing? What in the hell am I doing, man? So 
Activate these. Wait, did I even need to go to this screen? Oh. Is it frozen? It's loading? Oh, there we go. Uh, was there a was there a menu spot in uh, the arenas themselves? No, I guess not. To change masteries? Okay. Alright. Has BG ever been to the gym? Unfortunately, yes. I don't like going to the gym, man. And it's not just because of the working out part. The working out part, I actually kind of enjoy. I don't love it. Like, listen, it's not it's not as fun as playing video games. But uh, I didn't mind working out too much. It's more of, uh, I don't know. Everyone else being there, and especially when, you know, you're already out of shape and, like, not feeling uh, all too confident with your own physical appearance. Things like that. Like, if I was already ripped to the bone or something, <clears throat> which I totally am, but uh, I don't want to, you know, try to, try to be humble here, trying to be modest. Um, <clears throat> but if I was ripped to the bone, then, yeah, maybe... Maybe I wouldn't uh, dislike going to the gym as much. I guess that's not the only part, though. Part of it, too, is, like... I would see, like, a machine open that I wanted to use, and... Uh, then I'd be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there next. And then, as I'm going there, someone else is there. The, uh, the free weight area, the entire mirror is taken up. Maybe it was just the one gym that I went to in New Jersey, you know? New Jersey just completely packed um i've never gone to any uh gyms out here um the best gym i actually went to was a college for my short stint in college uh there was a gym on campus and the college i went to you know was wasn't a great college wasn't a great school so the gym also sucked but because the gym sucked I think most people didn't care to go to it, and it was actually all right. When uh, there was very few people in there. I'd take that any day. Uh, Doofus Puncher hitting that banana -na 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 button. Doofus Puncher, thank you very much. I'm just saying, lost my nana. Oh, looks like you found it. People bad, solitude good. To some extent, Olivia's. <laughs> In this case, yeah. I do, um... I don't know. I do think if I had a gym buddy, then I would have been able to go a lot more, so... In one sense, yes, people bad, solitude good. But in the other sense, solitude screwed me over. A little too much solitude. I think Laura and I went to the gym together, like, maybe five times ever. Uh, we could, we, we just never had this, you know, the same schedules to go. Hey, right, Tubus Puncher, what is this? CCP members are missing out on some interesting content. Eh? Oh, I see. Rank 5 Ascended Green Goblin gameplay when? Oh, buddy. Not from me. No, thank you. He just doesn't feel good to play, man. Medusa was like my perfect example of a champ that just felt... Oh, come on. That just felt so smooth to play. And if Medusa was the example of a buttery smooth champ, then Green Goblin was the example of just... a nightmare of a champ to play. Didn't feel smooth at all. Totally agree. I'm, I'm paying $90 a month for a gym membership for the past two years. And I think in total in two years, I've gone for less than two months. They just rob me every month. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, gyms are so expensive when you don't actually use them like that. I, I paid for a year. And it sucked. And that's why I'll never... I've barely been playing. I paid for a year when I used it... I mean, I, I was actually pretty consistent for about a month. I think earlier I said I only went like five times or something. It was a little bit of an exaggeration. 
Um, I, I was pretty consistent for about a month, and I would have kept going. But I remember like it was yesterday, man. One summer, dude, it was just so hot. Like I walked outside, ready to go to the park. You know, I'm like, um, ready to go to the gym. Walked outside of my apartment, ready to go to the gym. Uh, and I'm, I'm just like happy, man. I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, got my gym clothes on, pop out the door, start walking down the steps to go to my car. And then it just like a heat wave just hits me in the face. And I'm like, God, it's too hot. <laughs> Like, I touched the stove and I had to run back inside, dude. This is that bad. I'm like, screw this. No, thank you. Um. Okay. How many more rounds of arena do I need to do? Probably not many. Nah, I'm done. Cool. Alright. Let's hit the event quest here. Uh, Azio. Thank you very much for the five Australian bucks. So sorry if I said your name wrong. Saying, is it possible for you to play to keep up with story content without doing AQ or AW? I am up to Act 7. I keep coming back, but get burnt out trying to do everything. Is it possible to keep... To, just to keep up with story? Yes, it's possible to keep up just with story. If you're talking about keeping up with, like, other players... Eh... Uh, well, in that case, then No. Because other players, if they are doing AQ and AW and stuff like that, of course, they're getting more rewards. And uh, keeping up, that'll be very difficult. Uh, or impossible. <laughs> um, without, you know, spending loads of money, which kind of goes against the whole free-to-play thing. So, no. Uh, but story content, yes. You can keep up just with story content. It, uh, it does make it more difficult, of course. Um... Not getting, uh, you know, all the rewards that you could possibly be getting everywhere else. That, of course, raises the level of your entire roster. And uh, you'll have a bit of an easier time doing that. But it is still possible. And not like, uh, technically it's possible, but like actually possible. Um, the story content, it, after Act 6... The difficulty doesn't go up that much. And while there's a lot of paths where you're at right now in uh, Act 7, take a look at the later stages of Act 8. I think it was... I think Chapter 2 still has six paths, right? Let me pop in here real quick. Chapter 2... Yeah, Chapter 2 still has six paths per quest. But once they got to chapter three, they cut it down. Whoops, I didn't mean to begin quest. I just wanted to hit preview. They cut it down to only three paths per quest. So it's not like it's it, it keeps getting exponentially more difficult as you go. It's it kind of levels out. It's like, you know, it goes up and up and up. Then you hit Act 7. And it kind of levels out. You know, it's like a little bit of spikes here and there, especially as you fight harder bosses and stuff. But for the most part, it's become more streamlined. I hope that helps answer the question. Difficulty is always tough to uh, contextualize with just words. Without, the without uh, you know, just try and attack with that content yourself kind of thing. Okay, what quest is this? Thank you very much for the uh, the five, by the way. Uh, whenever Mystic Attacker... Something, something. Don't care. I'll probably just use this team. I'll probably grab Torch for the boss. I'm assuming I could use Torch. Micro Reflect. Hmm. Guaranteed critical hits. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll probably grab... Let's grab Torch for the boss. Red mags for this guy. I'm gonna go the Torch route, but if it's bad, I'll, I'll swap to, uh... 
Red Max. Uh, and I guess just because I'm going to be using um, White Tiger a bunch, I don't want recoils on. Let's do it. What's the hardest boss fight in your opinion? Probably uh, Nameless Collector. I think. Go top first. Yuki! With them three Polish books. Let me see. GG. Green Giant. Oh, all, tweet tweet is what you said. Okay, let me see. Tweet tweet. Yuki, what do we got here? Oh my, speaking of Green Goblin. Uh, how do you like my rank threes? I also ranked five in Ascendant Green Giant. No, you didn't. Oh my god. I don't know if I get the like button on this. Yuki. Yuki. God, why? Uh, <laughs> congrats. These are your rank threes, though? Okay. Dude, these are some good rank threes. I love the Ebony Maw rank three. Look at that PI, man. Jesus. Love the Mojo rank three. The Bishop. The first, yeah, these are all good. I like it, but you're also a giant a hole on uh, defense and battlegrounds, Yuki. All these champs annoying to fight. Oh. Uh... Okay. Let's get back to this, though. All right, let's roll, let's roll. Am I the only person in the game with a six star rank five, six, 200 red mags? No. Uh, a maxed out red mags? There's no way. I don't know that I'd max out mine, but uh, surely there's a bunch of red mags enjoyers out there. Even, um, what's it called? Even without considering his abilities in game, just the number of people that appreciate Red Mags for, uh, you know, from the comics and movies and things like that. Mm, let's save it to a special two. All right, we're going to have that power gain come in. Not even going to need it. Unclear why we are talking about the gym. To be clear, buy and home weight system that includes dumbbells and bench and a mat for sit-up uh, crunches and a bicycle for cardio. Uh, are you saying that's better? You said to be clear. But I don't know if that made it clear. <laughs> um, the thing about buying all that stuff is it's very expensive. And it also implies that you have a place to put those things. Uh, you may be fortunate enough to have space for that stuff in your home. But uh, the way the... The way the world it, it has been headed for a long time now is that, yeah, the space is um, like like buying a, a home for almost my entire generation is just like almost not possible. And even apartments have been getting so pricey that uh, you're lucky to have an apartment that like is not just a, uh, a studio apartment, you know? Um, in which case, probably can't afford the gym either, but gotta stay healthy still. And at least that's sometimes a little bit easier. I'd rather a place to set up my drums than a place uh, to gym at home. Totally. Unfortunately, I don't have a space for either of those at the moment. <laughs> but I agree. 
keep tigering it up. By the way, it was Green Grant, not Green Giant. Oh, based on the recent uh, WM creation. Oh, the White Mummy creation. Uh. I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. Let's bait this. Come on. Throw it. I don't have time for your shenanigans, dude. There we go. Mm. Let's just hold for a special two on this one. Hey man, hey, I shouldn't have done that. I got no furies. Can't deal any damage without the furies. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Watch this. The power gap. The power uh, gain. Oh, it didn't exactly carry. We had the power steal up. Cool. Rock climbing outside is also free, so is hiking. Uh, kind of. Rock climbing. <laughs> hiking, totally. Uh, and that's, that's really the way to go. If you're broke and got no space... Then yeah. Um, like I said, I wouldn't sign up for a gym again myself. Uh, gym's out of the que question. The at-home gym is out of the question. Both of them are uh, out of the question. It's, it's got to be the free workouts, pretty much. Um, might as well keep using the tiger here. T-Rex arm works. Damn right they do. Uh, BG, can I get a poll? Seven star Sunspot at rank two. Duped. Uh, or six star Kitty, Hulkling, uh, Nick to rank five. All duped and high sig. Okay, give me a sec. I'll make that poll. Oh, ran right into that. Oh boy. It's fine, everything's fine. All right, I'm gonna need to put the T-Rex arms to work. There we go. Got it. Oh, this champ is so fun. Throw it. Nice. Oh, okay. Try to dash. Neat. <laughs> Real neat. Just pop this. I'm going to take some damage. Yeah, it took a whole lot of damage. Is that right? No! Oh my god. Dude, I tried to throw my special and he got off his first. This jerk. Oh, that was an annoying fight. Anyway, uh, let's see. The poll that we're doing for this one is... Who to rank up? We've got... Seven star Sunspot. Six star Kitty. Six star Hulkling or six star Fury. These are all awakened. All duped. Hole is live. Seven star rank two, six stars will be rank five. Hiking is not completely free. How do you get to the hike? If you live close enough to a spot. Um, in Washington, there's there's places that are pretty close. But yeah. Definitely is uh, situational. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I had any refills in the overflow. This is, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, oh, let me check the overflow. Doesn't check overflow. All right, let's see. Anything, anything, please. Please be a pack of refills. I need three of them. Nothing. 
God. Okay. Little unfortunate. I don't participate in polls, BG. Well, Clarissa, maybe you should. Ever think about that? Okay. Wow. Sunspot's actually cleaning up. I'm ending it. That's a little surprising. Um, Hulkling came in second. So Sunspot got 55% of the vote. Hulkling came in second with 28%. Kitty, 9%. Fury, 6%. Little surprising. Now, I like Sunspot, but I didn't think he was going to dominate that hard. Um, I was kind of expecting Hulkling to win this one. And I think that's, that's who I'd probably recommend is Hulkling. Sunspot's not a bad pick, though, and it is fun ranking up seven stars. Can't deny that. Some people have kind of moved on from... I thought that was a lot. Oh, there's two more fights before the boss? Dude, I would not have used... Um, White Tiger for that fight. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, some people, they're, they're kind of over the whole... You know, ranking up six stars without rank up gems. And they're saving the... Uh, six star rank ups for those situations where they have gems. And if that's, you know, kind of your mindset to it, fair enough. But, yeah, I don't know. I Personally, I think I'd rather have the Hulkling ranked up rather than Sunspot. So, that's what I would go with personally. IPG literally always scrolls past the thing he's looking for. Wait, what? You passed some refills. Oh my god, did I actually? Huh. Alright. Go back. I'll do it after this quest. Actually, let me do it now before I forget. PG Mysterium store is reset. Okay. Probably won't spend that today. This? Oh my god. Was there a different one besides that? Because I didn't scroll over. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I still say whole cling on that on the last bowl. I need to give my whole cling the additional rank up. But, I don't know. I guess it does go a little bit back to what I was just saying about, you know, what you're using to rank these champs up with. Because, like, Hulkling is almost for sure going to get, uh, you know, ranked up. Because I have four, four to five rank up champs. Uh, if it did come down to, you know, choosing Hulkling over one of my seven stars. Uh, I do have a bunch of Cosmics that I would like to invest in right now, so... A little bit hard to say if, uh, if I would pick him over everyone else. Just because the, the temptation of 7 stars is so high. Why not just claim all? Uh, laziness. Then I'd have to think about if uh, any of the stuff was going to be... Um, you know, going over the inventory caps that we have. And I'd rather just claim stuff once every few days rather than uh, always claiming all every time I go to that screen. Let me charge up. Come on, friend. Keep throwing them specials. Screw it. I'm just going to push them to a special, too. I don't even care.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, torch works fine for this. Let's push him again. That's special too. Got a lot of Nova Flames on him. He's gonna die. Cool. That was a 53 second fight. Probably about as fast as Mags. Yo, Torrance with the 10 saying, can I get a poll, Killmonger or Korg? Oof, that's a tough one. Uh, both Sig 60 or Black Cat Sig 40 to rank 3 or hold it. And shout out to the chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me grab some of these first. And then one poll coming at you. Let me see. Who to rank up? Seven, seven stars. Okay, so... This is... Killmonger... Sig 60. Korg... Sig 60. Should say who to rank 3, actually. And then... My cat is Sig 40. Okay. Pole is now live. Let's see. Torrance, thank you very much for the 10. Can't deny the Titan Crystal. Everyone is pulling Thing or Cersei. Conspiracy is going to conveniently tie... Uh, into a future event or do the opposite. You think a lot of people are pulling Thing or Cersei? I don't know. I mean, I have seen some of that, but uh, I can't recall any one champ being, like, seeing them pulled more than others. All right, let's go right to left on this one. Gonna hoard it for a few more months. Oh wait. Yeah, about the Titan. You just got a thing? You're saying sans scripts? Okay. Dang man. This poll is pretty close. I I think I agree with it though. I'm gonna end it. I don't know. This one's a little tough. But I do think I agree. So Killmonger won with 43% of the vote, Korg with 29% of the vote, and Black Cat with 26% of the vote. Now, here's the thing. The last time I played Black Cat was when she was released and testing her on the beta. I don't have the experience to say like exactly how good she is. I've heard a lot of people talk her up and say, dude, she's so fast. So underrated. Um, one of the one of the best uh, attackers, or something like that. I don't know. I hear that sometimes. And I'm not saying I hear it every single day, but I hear it sometimes. And it's possible that she's really good and definitely worth ranking. <laughs> but I. I I don't know, I'd, I'd probably be looking to go with one of the defenders here. And I... When just thinking about who i rather fight, Killmonger or Korg... Of course it depends on who I'm using, but more often than not, I don't mind fighting Korg. And Killmonger's just like... Dude, it's so slow to fight him. Even when you have, like, a decent counter, it just feels so slow sometimes. Uh, let's Hulk this fight. Howdy, BG. Howdy, lags. How you doing, buddy? Torrance, I don't know if that helps your decision at all, because... Pretty close between all three of them, honestly. If anything, if you were... If you had a favorite and you're like... Uh, I don't know if I'm crazy for thinking about going with this champ. 
well. You can see that they're all close enough that it's kind of personal preference, really. He could do all right with any of the bunch. Black Hat is amazing, especially with Widow Relic, but is great at rank two. Hmm. I use Hulk for this one too. Let's Hulk it up. Hold shield from my Titan. Okay, I still don't know much about her. EG, I'm still pretty unfamiliar with Serpent, but pulled him nice uh, out of my Titan and put him into my deck just for fun. But Keepo kept banning him. Care to explain? Uh, he's really annoying to fight. <laughs> is my explanation. Uh. You can't dex his abilities. Normally, at least. And, uh, as a result... It's a wee bit of chip damage that you have to take just from him popping his specials. And he's not the fastest to take down, either. He's, uh, he's quite annoying. Where do you guys rank Serpent in terms of the annoying defenders that have been released in the last, let's say, let's say from like Necropolis time. So like include Maestro, include um, Onslaught. Um, actually, hold on, let's do this. Let's go to Aunt May. Maybe we go a little bit deeper than that even. Oh, that's right. Aunt May is not updated for 2024 yet. I was going to say just like maybe all of 2023, 2024 even. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we do cut it off at like Necropolis is really so like November. Um, let's say November on, which is basically the last six months. Where do, where do you guys rank the defenders that have been released in that time? Damn, Aunt May is so good. And I know so many people are, are just, like, missing the updates on it. Uh, I say Serpent is the strongest defender right now. That's kind of what I was thinking. Which makes sense. Because uh, he is the newest. I'm sure counters will come out later this year. Serpent, to me, is probably the scariest. Kindred is worse than Serpent? You think so, Guardian? I've heard from a lot of high-end players that... I don't really fear Kindred too much. I, I I really dislike Bullseye. I feel like for me personally, it's probably like Serpent, Bullseye, probably Maestro. And I know like you can counter any of these. Especially, uh, you know, Bullseye. There's a lot of lot of counters and stuff, but like, I don't even care that there's counters, dude. I hate him so much. I still get destroyed by him half the time. It's it's ugh. even when I, you know, beat him, like I'm I'm still missing 20% of my health, at least, if not more. And like, dude, that's the difference maker in something like Battlegrounds. 20% if I had a good fight more if I had a, you know, just an average fight, or sometimes, dude, just, I'm barely scraping by in the fight. Get out of here, Mags. Yo, chat, what is the Battleground score I would need to get top 5,000? No clue. No clue in the slightest. Lags, uh, hold on. What are your what are your top three? Uh, or wait, you're also saying doing good about the chill for the night and play some Fortnite. Had a good uh, gym session today. Okay, dude, we were just talking about the gym a little bit. In my, okay, so hold on. You said, in my opinion, one serpent, two bullseye, three maestro. Dude, look at that. One, two, three. We agree. 
Um, four onslaught, five kindred slash photon. He's getting pinned for this one, I guess. Photon's kind of annoying, but now that I understand her abilities, I don't find her to be that bad. But still pretty annoying, I guess. So yeah, I, I don't think she is even close to like the top three. That's possible. I just don't understand the, the who I'm ranking at the top three well enough. It's very possible. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Ever, ever since, um, ever since like the Alliance War showcase thing where I had to fight Photon and I had to actually learn a little bit about her and stuff, I just feel a lot more confident going into those fights that I see in like Battlegrounds with Photon on defense. Okay. I'm not trying to parry, dude. Damn. Okay. <laughs> the accidental parries, man. I don't know what happened in this game. I used to so rarely do them. Well, I shouldn't say so rarely. They happened a good bit when I was, like, trying to play Ghost. And I always remember, like, if the accidental parries with Ghost, I'd be, like, pretty sad about. Because, of course, you don't need to parry in those situations. <laughs> But regardless, uh, I don't know, over the last recent history here at MCOC, I feel like uh, I'm accidentally pairing more than I ever have in my entire time playing this game. Heading out, Torrance. Okay, have a good one, dude. Uh, uh, hold on. Alliance War Showcase did the opposite for Kindred. You just smash him because you took no damage with tactic attacks. That's kind of true, man. It was nice in the moment because, yeah, I hate fighting Kindred. And uh, it was nice to not really have to worry about it too much. And just kind of wrap up that fight nice and quick. But at the same time, I didn't really learn much. That kind of sucks. Hi, Mommy. I don't know if you're still in here, but uh, you're kind of right. Cole is pretty strong, but nobody plays him. This is a completely forgotten about champ. Like, there's some champs that are right, rightfully forgotten about. And then there's other champs that it's like... I, I mean, okay, sure, he's not like the top champ in the game, but how come nobody plays this guy? He's still pretty good. All right, let's pop that pre-fight again. Uh, what about dust or sandstorm thing is still so annoying. I just haven't even seen many uh, dusts. In battlegrounds, so I don't really know how to how to rank her. By the way, if you're doing this fight, my tip uh, with torch at least is don't parry the disorients; they're killing me. Just block regular style. It take more damage, but at the same time, you're gonna roast this fool quickly enough. Well, I, sh I do feel like I should have more smolders right now. Ah, oh, crap, I parried. Hold on. Let's charge up a heavy a little bit. That's special too. I should start buffing ramp up champs for battlegrounds. Ah! Uh I don't know. Imagine Cole starting with five charges or Corvus with two charges. Yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I, not every champ needs to be a Battlegrounds champ. 
But maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe there's something there. Hard to say. My gut is is telling me, like, eh. Don't don't buff him for for that content. But I don't know. It's it's not a it's not a terrible idea. If they came out with something, like, I'd I'd be open to trying it. Let me say that. If if it was in like the patch notes for the next update, and Kabam was like, hey, we're gonna, you know, let, let, I mean, let's use the, the coal for example, right? We're gonna, it's gonna be like he's got, you know, halfway ramped up or something. Uh, actually, that might be too much for Cole. I don't know. But either way, whatever amount they felt was appropriate, like if they had tested it beforehand, I'd be like, okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Let me give it a whirl. But I lean a little bit more towards the, like, nah, side of things. They announced a uh, spring cleaning event. I actually don't know. Dini Dave was the goat. Still is. Dave's still awesome. Those that went to the Vancouver meetup. Still got to hang with Dave a bit. Him with that special too. Let's get him with another special too. I love this champ. So fun. Is Diggity Dave still working for Kabam and Mrs. Vids? Yes. He still works uh, for Kabam. I think he still would have kept making vids, but the uh, the backlash from. Like one event, and then I I don't know. Sometimes the uh... like YouTube is is a lot of effort. I I I was gonna say like you know he would have kept going uh, if not for like certain things or whatever. But in reality, I don't know that he would have because Dave uh, he's a family man, you know. Got a kid. No, come on, you jerk. Um, he's got a kid, and doing all the work that he does for Kabam uh, on top of, you know, family time and stuff like that. I don't know that YouTube uh, could even still fit into that life. Dave still does the deep dive videos for Disney Mirrorverse game. Oh, does he? Oh, man, I didn't even realize that. Interesting. Um, very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I talked to Dave a bunch. We had a we had a nice chat for like, a, I don't know, maybe just like a half an hour or something. But, at an, you know, at an event like the, that meetup, dude, a half an hour, that's like the most you could talk to any one person. <laughs> I say that, but there was a few people that I spent uh, a bunch of time talking to, I guess. Karate Man and I talked for a bit and the uh like late night. I feel like I feel like me and Karate Mike were like the last two people awake, <laughs> you know? And like the whole uh whole event, everyone in the hotel, everyone's asleep. It's like two AM. We're just like up talking. Um, but anyway, yeah, I talked to Dave a bit. I he's definitely still at Kabam. I don't know if I'm if if I exactly what I'm able to say as far as what he still does, what his role with everything is. Uh, I don't want to put his business out there. Not that it's like some big secret or something, but still, not my business to share. Kind of kind of thing, you know. Um, I did not realize that he was still doing the uh, the Mirrorverse deep dives, though. I honestly didn't know Mirrorverse had deep dives. All right, let's get that special, too. I don't need to bait. Yeah. 
EJ, ever consider interviewing Dave for us? I don't... Huh. I was about to say, I don't know if, if, if there would be enough people... interested in that but if it was like podcast style then that might be pretty interesting two of the uh two of the the older mcoc youtubers that kind of you know got started at like around the same time ish i think dave was a little bit before me and video quality wise I mean, to this day, he still makes higher quality videos, but especially at the time, like, he was the one to look up to for sure. Uh, and yeah, we we could talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> so maybe that'd be interesting to do. Uh, but no real, no real plans. The last thing we talked about at, uh, like, when we ended our conversation up there was just like... You know, Vancouver ain't that far away. Maybe, uh, maybe there'll be a time to just come up and grab a drink together and just chat. Not, not recorded, you know, just to kind of catch up every once in a while. Might be too far to do on just like a random weekend, but I don't know. If there was ever like another reason for me to go up to Kabam, um, like let's, let's say I did interview some of the kabam guys or something uh and then you know it's kind of an excuse to go up there and then uh then chat it up with dave or something you take the train in vancouver bg you know accelerate that was my original plan but i ended up just driving i had the the, the four giant heads you know i didn't really want to carry those on a on a train. It was already crazy enough crossing the border with those things. Hey, what's in your back seat? Uh, four fake heads. Please don't look inside of these uh, black garbage bags. I promise you, they're not real heads. <clears throat> Please don't arrest us. And they didn't. They didn't arrest us, so, you know. It all worked out. Is this event quest? This is event quest, yes. BG, should I spend my battleground tokens on shards or six stones or other resources as a throne breaker? I can't really tell you what you should be spending them on. It kind of just depends on, on, on what you need, what you're looking for. You, you kind of want to balance it out in terms of uh, other resources that you're getting. You know, use... Anytime you're given the option from, like, a store, you kind of want to fill in whatever gaps are missing. So, let's say... Let's say you already get enough catalysts to rank up your champs from, I don't know, maybe Alliance Quest or something. Well, then you don't really need to get the catalyst from the Battleground store, and you could focus more on Sig Stones and Shards and stuff. Yeah. But if you don't really have a good spot that you're getting the, uh, you know, rank up catalyst from, then, yeah, you want to uh, make sure that you're getting that stuff from the store. Um, it also depends on your other resources. So, like gold. Not just talking about rank up resources and uh, shards and stuff like that. Like, your, your gold and your ISO. So, if you're lower on gold than ISO, then what you want to do is invest more in resources like shards that, um, you know, when you open up those crystals, it's it's you don't need to... You don't necessarily need to rank up a champ right away from them. Uh, and, of course, that's giving you more ISO. But if you're getting catalysts, then those catalysts are worthless unless you have the gold and ISO to, you know, back them up, if that makes sense. If I describe that well enough. Um, oh, man. 
What are you spamming to? Uh, your comment's a little spammy there. Please, please, please space out the message a little bit more. I'll continue answering since I'm this deep in, but normally if I saw that, I would just time you out and then not answer. Um... So yeah, it, it, it's very dependent though on on what you actually uh, are lacking. In general, I do like the value of Sig stones, shards, and and catalysts though. Like they're all pretty good value. The the only things in the store that I don't like the value of, and it's it's going to be different based on progression level, but typically it's kind of consistent. I don't know if you have access to um yeah I, I don't I don't know exactly what you have access to now that I think about it cuz you probably don't have access to 7 star shards but if you did I'd say stay away from them. I don't know what the the tier 6 basic is like even if if you even have access to that at all. I'd imagine if you do have it in the store it's not a full one, right? I don't know. I don't know if I can give any better advice than that of just you kind of want to look at your own resources. Forgot. Can't hold that down right now. Kind of want to look at your own resources and just see. Um, I just picked these up, by the way, for more ISO. Uh, and just see what you're missing and fill in those gaps. Best, best advice I can give. Okay. Let's get back to it. Hashtag Simon Fodder. Did I say something? <clears throat> BG, do you still grind Arena? Not really. I grinded a little bit on stream today for the, the revive milestone, but that's it. Uh, I can't remember the last time I saw you do Arena. Yeah, I don't really play Arena anymore. Um, I would like to, but there's just not enough time of the day. I still think it'd be really cool to, um... Man, what note is this that I'm getting such little... I don't have to hit his... No, that's not it. The power gain is like nothing. Oh, okay, I see. Power gain comes... Oh, well, this is not going to be good. I can't really stun lock. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, that hurts. <sighs> you gain power when you use a striker. I would have been better off just pushing him to a special three. That would have been much better. Dang. I mean, I'm going to have to pop a refill to get through this path anyway, so I might as well restart. Unfortunate. Fear and loathing, thank you very much. For the two, saying ABG Twitter. Okay. Ooh, the 8.4 Exploration. Rank 3 Hulk Relic for my uh, Rank 3 Hulk. Dude, that's sick. Dang, man. I would love to have this Hulk Relic, dude. But okay. So yeah, this is a brand new one, I'm assuming. For your, your Hulk there, the Science Gem. The Wolf. Ow! And I'm assuming you took Shang-Chi in this situation, although wouldn't fault you for just adding six to Domino. Uh, the Photon, the Wolf here. Okay. Pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Awesome. All right. Uh, use White Tiger on this one. Screw using Hulk. I don't really know a single person who does Arena anymore. Oh, loads of people still play Arena. I'm still I'm still mad about Arena, too. Um, I know some people think like, oh, if you're not actively talking about something, then ah, I might as well have just like moved on and <laughs> like sometimes I don't know. 
people in the community will say it like, oh, I remember when people were mad about this, but then no one even talks about it or something. Or like sometimes the devs will say, um, actually, I don't know. I don't know if the devs say it. Anyway, let me just finish my freaking thought here. So what I was going to say, I'm in trouble. That's what I was going to say. If I have to restart again. I, 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 I cannot have this guy hit me with a special too. Anyway, I'm still mad about the whole Arena Express thing being a paid feature only. I should have used Hulk. I should have used Hulk and then just pushed a special two with Hulk. That was probably the way to go. Instead, I'm stuck fighting for my life. God, even that power gain is really weak. Just gonna press on. 45% health. That's good enough. So, yeah, I, I still think it's pretty annoying that uh, Arena Express exists and um, the difference, the gap in it is quite large, like I tested and showed. 20% difference. And uh, it's one of those things where, like, even though I... Oh, my God. Are you serious? Even though I uh, do want to be spending more... To, oh, my God. What the heck is going on? <laughs> like, my controls just stopped working there entirely. When I got hit, that was on me. Uh, going in too fast on the heavy attack and stuff. But she just, like, comboed and then kept comboing. Um, but even though I, like, I yeah, right now, uh, I feel like MCOC... It's in a better spot than it's been in a while. And uh, it does make me want to actively spend more time playing and stuff. I look at the Arena Express thing, though, and just think, like, dang, dude, it's still such a big advantage or such, such a big disadvantage for not having it. I like, do I want to be spending that time? For, like, if, it's annoying. Okay. The controls worked fine there. I just didn't. I just didn't dash back. <laughs> For as bad a fight that was, there's only one spot where I feel like the game screwed me. The other ten mistakes. That was all me. Hello, BG and Chat Ghost Dog. Yo, what up? So, as much as I want to go to bed, I can't. Guess I have to deal. How's it going? Well, Ghost Dog, my brain is a little fried. Uh, that's how I'm going right now. Uh, that fight was horrible. It is uh, perhaps too late for me tonight, even though 11 p.m. is usually not too late for me. Uh, today is just one of those weird days where... Um, push the special to where, uh, dude, 11 o'clock feels like 4 a.m. Freaking exhausted. All right, let's do the dash out, dash in, so I get the crit. That will end it. Special 3 did like 4% damage, yeah, barely, barely dented me. If Arena Express cost a few units per Arena 3 day, would you get it, BG? I mean, if I'm not grinding Arena, no, but if I was grinding Arena, then it would just depend on how many units, I guess. I would just do the, I would just do the math, crunch the numbers. Uh, if it... Um, like if it's too many units then yeah it's not worth it 
if it's just for a three day period. Like if, if the sigil cost units, that'd be cool. I don't, I honestly, I don't have a problem with the sigil though. As it is, I like the sigil. I like that it exists when it first came out, at least. I've had my gripes here and there with the sigil. When they first rolled out, um, actually, let me give the whole, the, the quick history, the abridged version of sigil and my thoughts on it just in general. So when it first came out, uh, I remember being in New York City at the time for the Summoner Showdown. And uh, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. But people were mad. People were big time mad. And I almost made a video just like walking around the streets of New York. I couldn't bring myself to be one of those guys like holding the, the phone out in front of my face. But I thought like, damn, it would actually be pretty cool. Uh, or if I could have just had like met up with someone and just had them kind of record, maybe go to uh, I don't know, Central Park or something. It would have been a cool video. And uh, I was like, this is, this is, I don't know. It's pretty good as is. I like this issue when it first came out. Then the sigil got updated and it had a new premium currency. And I, dude, my concerns was that this premium currency being added was going to be like a, a thing used all the time by Kabam. Uh, it was for, you know, getting sigil witch. That's, that's what that currency was for. And I didn't like that. Um, I liked the sigil when it was just like a pretty good value for uh, getting different resources, getting to trade in different, you know, resources in like the, the Black ISO market, things like that. I thought that was great. Sigil Witch, it ended up being like kind of okay, but if they ended up using that resource more, it could have turned into like units are no longer the premium currency. The premium currency is only available for those who get the sigil. So I'm happy that didn't happen. Um, I do. I would still appreciate if there were like a little bit more ways to get sigil witch. Uh, but I guess I can't complain about it too much as it currently stands. Then they come out with Arena Express, and from this point forward, I do not like the way that the sigil is. Uh, valued i think it's I, I think it's probably the best value in the game so if you are looking to spend and you're not mad <laughs> and you're not protesting the sigil or whatever um then i think that's probably where you spend your money uh so it would be the first 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 thing for me to recommend to other players but yeah hate it as is um so I went from like loving the sigil, thinking it was a, a, a great value for players that didn't give too much of an unfair advantage to, okay, this is, I don't love this, but I guess it's still okay to now straight up. I think it's uh, BS that what they've done with it. Bit of a bummer. Never trust a bald man with a smile. Clarissa. What in the... I never liked the inventory bump being behind a paywall. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind it. I, I understand uh, why you or other people wouldn't like it. But I didn't, I, I didn't really mind it. Feel like it's pretty good value. Talking about Abdo BG? Okay, Clarissa. Whew. Good. You're right. Um I think of all the things to sell in games. I think inventory space is a pretty good one to to, to sell. Uh, as long, like, provided that the, the base level game has, like, a decent enough amount of space to it. And I feel like the inventory space at a default on MCOC is not bad. Um, feels like there's plenty of space for pretty much all, of the, like, everything you need. Uh, especially considering the way it works when things go into the overflow. Now, if they, it, like, 
if we didn't have access to the overflow <laughs> and the only way to have that was to have the sigil that'd be a different story uh it'd be so insane to like try to stay on top of things and make sure they didn't expire at any one point in time you'd, you'd be staring down your inventory left and right you know so like i don't know luckily i thought he was gonna die when he popped that special so i took my hands off the wheel um luckily mcoc is not like that otherwise i i would have a big problem with that too but $5 unit card has entered the chat. Oh, the sigil is way better than the $5 unit card, in my opinion. I think the sigil... I, I think the $5 unit card is really nice. I think it's definitely up there with um, some of the best values. On a... On, like, a standard month, I do think it's the second best value in the game. But, um, that's kind of where I leave it. I think Sigil's still better. As free-to-play that plays a lot of Arena, I am personally unbothered by it. Okay, fair enough, Ace. I don't want to say any more that would potentially bother you about it even. Which is why I, I don't really uh, talk about this stuff too much. Because, hey, if people, uh, if people like something... Cool. And if I don't like something, well, that's cool too. I'd, I'll just ignore it. <laughs> that's all I have to do is like ignore it. Um, it's a little bit deeper than that. Like, because, well, ignoring it also means sometimes like ignoring the game, <laughs> you know? Uh, but. As long as there's still enough interest in uh, other areas of the game, then I suppose it's all right. Today, the guy at Circle K told me to just smile at everyone. Clarissa, that's true. As long as the smile doesn't look like this. Then it's good. Platinum track is very good, BG. Is it? What's the, what's, what's the stuff on the platinum track? Honestly, I haven't looked at it in a bit. Uh, where do you see the platinum track? I thought you saw it on this little thing here. What's the pig looking like right now? Because it has like some ascension dust in there, right? Hmm, does have some ascension dust. It's not in here. I thought it was just right on this thing. Oh, it's gone for now. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> All right, Gremlins, I'm out. Night, BG. Clarissa, you and me both. I'm also heading out, you guys. Like I said, I, I'm just... It's one of those days, man. I was I was spent uh, a couple hours before the stream already started. <laughs> and yeah. I, uh... I'll go take it easy and go pass out. So, before I go, first off, hope you guys all have a great rest of the night. But also, shout out to Torrance for being tonight's biggest D. Torrance, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone else, too. You guys are awesome. And tomorrow, oh, tomorrow morning stream, you guys. Tomorrow is Thursday in my world and in a lot of our worlds. Um, probably 11 a.m. Pacific time starting. So probably like 12 hours from now-ish. Give or take an hour. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Have a good night, everybody.